All right, there may be some times where you run into an issue where you need to make a PVC fitting um, a little bit smaller in diameter. In this case, I'm gonna uh, cement it into a union that I already have, but I need an extra port. So what I'm gonna do is drill one and a quarter inch hole into the port, which I've already done. Um, I have it somewhere around here. Uh, so there's my hole. So you can join those together and I needed to add one little port. I needed it as short as possible. So I couldn't really use anything off the shelf. Uh, so, problem is, outside diameter of this fitting, it's a, uh, I think it's a three quarter by three quarter, or maybe one inch uh, inside diameter. So the outside was 1.3 something, the hole was 1.25. So, what I did was I stuck a carriage bolt in it, it just happened to catch that little lip inside, with a washer on the outside, nut, tightened it all up. Doesn't have to be super tight, just tight enough. Well, then we're going to stick it in our drill press. So, that's what we got. Tighten the chuck just a little bit. And I'm going to bring my table up just underneath it. Okay. So that's tightened up, and we're going to turn it on, and it's better to do it with two hands, of course, but I've only got one. But you can see, you want a negative, what they call the rake, wants to be negative, so you don't want to be cutting into it like this. It'll just kick it back around on you and hurt, hurt you a little bit if you're not careful. So, just a little bit negative, and you can sit here and just spray the diameter off of this thing. It's that easy. And you can make a taper. Just be sure to stop and measure it every once in a while. Uh, I use a set of calipers, of course. Uh, but you, I mean, then it would be that accurate. 1.248. So that should just fit inside of our one and a quarter inch hole in the PVC. That's my little tip.